hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been we are going to show you something on them um, autocad we want to show you how you can plot spot height using your um, autocad civil 3d right good now we already have a video on the channel where i've shown you how you can plot spot height using this script underscore text is thin comma nodding comma the text height rotation angle and then the elevation right good we however want to show you another method which we believe will also enhance or yeah will improve how you plot spot heights on autocad right good so thanks for coming to class if you're coming to the channel for the first time you can encourage us by subscribing and if you are returning you are thanks for always checking up on us so the first thing we are going to do is that we need to copy out um, the whole of this data into another sheet right so we highlight everything we copy and then we paste on this um, new sheet right good now when you look at your spot height data one thing um, i've come to realize about this application or let's say yeah, this approach rather it has different applications so let's say you are trying to plot um, a build survey maybe yeah should i call it as build survey maybe you are trying to plot um, on autocad and it has to display details or maybe descriptions other than elevation right good so you can also use this same approach which we are going to show to you and then you are good to go so let's try to move this particular column to this end because um, on the civil 3d there we have a different format we have um, the point is still not in the is it elevation as z and description right so there are different formats you are going to see so most times the description is always at the ending so let's um, change this heading to something like a um, description right good so that's description then let's give this one a point id so we should have just um, copied that and pasted it here so let's make this our point id so we just make this one and make this two then we try to what auto fill right good now we are trying to prepare this data your data might be prepared however if it is not sorted the way you are seeing it here you can just follow it through and then sort your data this way right good so we have the point id which just represents okay that's point one point two as many as you have and excel can help you auto fill because we have as much as um, let's see that's a um, control yeah we have as much as 1160 points and we would not be able to type one, two, three to the end. So Excel has done that. So if your if your data is not sorted this way, you can actually sort it this way and you are good to go. Then the next thing I have come to realize is that the spacing on this um, spot site actually affects the description. So we are also going to modify it. I don't know if I am the only one who observed that, but you can also try it out. And if it's giving you the same issue, you can just follow through this method. So instead of having it as sh space maybe 0102 we are trying to join the sh and the one together so instead of having it as sh and one separately we are joining together because it will affect how it is being displayed in the description right so we still want or to fill this and we have all of them sorted out good so i haven't established this or maybe i haven't sorted our data like this we can just copy all of them so now we have our data in what points eastern northern height and description right good so yours can just be maybe eastern northern height and description yours can just be eastern northern and height the idea is that we are trying to plot spot height and you know that it's the definition of a point using the elevation right here yeah, by displaying the elevation value trying to identify the elevation of a particular point so by having this x and y we have identified or we have located the point and this z is now the elevation of those points so let's say of that point in this case of this point so what this portal does is that it displays this elevation or it displays the elevations 
of all of those points so that you can now know the undulation or maybe topography of your terrain right good so if you don't want to add your points if you don't want to add your description the ideal is that okay let's say if you want to just add your eastern northern elevation you are still good to go right because as we told you earlier there are different formats on autocad so you can just what select all of these sorry just um, select all of these and then you copy right good so upon copying you now move to notepad all right so we just try and then paste on notepad so we now have our points what sorted out and we've actually pasted it on notepad so we have our points is still nodding the elevation and the what and the is it the description right good now this particular data here is separated by tabs not another separate or maybe delimiter now we will keep emphasizing card accepts so many formats so depending on how you want to format your data that will depend that will now determine what format um, card will now read it as right good so this particular data is separated by what by tabs there are different videos on the channel where we we'll add data that are separated by comma right good but we are going to use tab on this and let's see how that goes so we are going to save this on our preferred folder so you go to file and you go to what save as all right so we are on a folder called them um, spot Ice 2 so let's call this um spot Ice 2 yeah like, let's make it spot tight 22 and the file type is what txt that's text right so you click on save there so we have what our data saved now we come to our card now the first thing is that normally we just try to set our unit if you don't have it set good now we need to what import those points so you just use the shortcut import points right good so you just type import and then you just follow import points there click on import points there good now we have what the import points um, dialog box out of the window so you click on this um, plus which, um, which shows that you want to add files right good. and now you can see the different um, point formats that you have on it that can be accepted on card right so if you click on this what does it say manage format you can see different card formats as we've told you earlier there are different card formats you can even decide to specify or create your own right good so let's close this first and let's add our point good so we're on our folder now this um good or let's say yeah this tick here shows that the, the file that we have saved is actually compatible and then it's not maybe bad or something you know if you have brought in or maybe while, while you're trying to bring in your points and if you see anything other than this green tick sign here and something like this red or something it shows that you need to go back and reformat and other stuff good now let's look at our preview now the data we brought in sh22.txt we have told ourselves or earlier we knew that we had that's what point eastern northern the elevation and the description right good now pay attention to that however what the, the software has seen it as is what nothing eastern and elevation that now shows that you can now scroll through the different um, um, file formats and indicate the one you used so we use the point Eastern, northern elevation and description and the delimiter is what space right good now the delimiter is space not comma so we have what our point eastern northern elevation and what the description are we together so now this now shows that yes the data we have has been well uh, recognized and then formatted on card right so we can just decide to ensure you confirm this um the file format so that you don't have your data wrongly so we just decided to create what a point group for it if we need it but let's just see we need it so let's call this um should we call this um spot height this should be this and then let's call it spot height right so let's call that spot height okay now 
having established all of these we can just click on what ok all right the points have been added or let's see the points have been imported or plotted so you can use your what your zoom extends icon here and just click on it good so we have our what we have our spot height plotted now you might not have seen it as maybe uh can i use it as spot height before you know the applications are enormous as we are always emphatic now we have plotted our spot height and you can see that on the description of each of the points we have what the point number which is the p we have the elevation and then we also have what the description now you can decide to modify all of this now the essence of having it like this is that you know that for a particular point you know the number you know the elevation and then you also know the spot type value so now the number and the spot type value are actually the same now if by adventure you are using it for something other than spot type maybe description you will know that okay maybe that particular place is a building or maybe it's a road or maybe it's some other description maybe it's an edge you know maybe you're trying to plot out you carve out um, buildings and you have the edge one edge two edge three edge four so with this description on the last part of the column there on the last column rather you can know that okay this is for h4 and you know how to join the lines however we are using it for spot type, but we need to still let you know that you can apply it differently right good now if you don't want to display all of this information and you need only the elevation which is what we need most of the times so you come under what you click point groups right then you now select the group we've added which is what spot type then you right click and you go to what you go to properties good now under the point group properties what we want to do is that we want to remove all other information and just leave the elevation you can see now that under the point label style we have the point we have the elevation and the description the point is the 904 for this particular for this particular point we have 904 the elevation is 27.06 and the description is what sh904 right good so what we need is just what 27.06 and not any other thing so we can just click on this drop down and then we select what elevation only right then we click on apply you can see that every other thing has been removed except the elevation right good so if yours is not the elevation you want to display and you want to display the description only you can still come up here select description only and then you apply so instead of having your elevation you now see the description of each of those points which can be anything aside spot height as we told you may be buildings trees electric poles edges you know whatever description you would have used right good now you can still see different elevations or different um, label styles rather different label styles that you can use to label your points right good so if you want to use points and description you can just select that and you apply so you see now that this is fast and like quality term uh, should i say this is more elaborate than the previous one however depending on the software you're using and depending on what you want to achieve you can use any of them to what to carry out your tax and you are good to go so let's um, leave our stuff on only what elevation because we are working with spot height as we stated earlier then if the fonts are not maybe legible enough or if they are too big you can click on this pencil icon here then you come to what the text height and maybe let's just make this uh, instead of 2.5 let's see what um, 4.5 can do for us if that will be too big or that will be too small but that's dependent on what you want you apply okay then you still apply for it to now be affected on what the, on the plan right good so now this is too big so we can still come down to the style now what the style does is that this particular asterisk you can see on your screen you can change it to something else so you still click on what this pencil icon so instead of having your marker as a star or this is a yeah let's call it star you can just click on what the cross sign or you click on what you click on dot so whatever icon you want to use or whatever marker style you want to use you can just select and you are good 
to go now this is actually multiple right good so you just select one and you use only this right then you can also increase or decrease the size so let's still make this a um, 4.5 so that we can see the effect right so we just click on apply so we say okay then we also try to what apply it here so that we can see the effect on the what on the drawing so you now see we have what a different marker and we also have what bigger elevation yeah elevation text height right good so this is how you can use um, your AutoCAD is this civil 3D for what plotting your spot height. Now, as we would always say, there are different applications, and you can run through how we have explained it, and you can modify it to your taste, right? Good. So you have maybe if you have your boundary, you can just insert your boundary, you do your labels and your other yeah your other letterings, and I think you're good to go because. You have what you have your elevations that are displayed on what on your screen so if you want to remove these uh, markers you can also remove them let's still come down to properties and you just want to have only what your elevations what if you just want to have only your elevations there you just come up here then you deselect all other options by clicking on them um, this second option here right good so let's deselect that and we have that there so we just want to apply we say okay then we apply as well and then we say okay right good so depending on how you want to go about displaying your spot height you can actually maybe play around with it and you are good to go so we believe we've shown you how you can use um, this particular software to what to plot your spot height and if you have any questions if you have contributions if you have um, contrary opinions you can leave it on the comment section and we are going to get back to you so we are also going to leave a link to the former video on the description section of this video so you can see that video compared with this one on that video we use what we use this other approach by um, coming up with them um, underscore text um, comma is thin, comma nothing underscore test space is thin, comma nothing space you know so it was this particular script we used on that video we however did not use that on this video and we plotted it directly so thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solution to this particular solving problem you can always support the channel check the description section of this video or the channel description to support the channel we are going to see you on our subsequent videos. Until then, keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.